Hello friends, welcome to Course Slate. In this lesson, we will focus on Spring Security with Timeleaf. We are going to create a Spring Boot application where we will demonstrate the usage of security dialect. So we all know Spring Security can be used to control access to our Spring Boot application using authentication. So sp Spring Security Dialect helps us to get information about authenticated user in Timeleaf. So Spring Security Dialect provides two attributes that is Authorize and Authentication. So auth Authorize attribute when we use in Timeleaf it evaluates to true. So something like this if logged in user has admin role if it it has then it evaluates to true similarly we can also use is authenticated so to check if an user is authenticated we can use this attribute and we also have authentication attribute to get authenticated username and what are the roles assigned to the user so still confused let's see how to how this can be used in time leaves so that you'll get more clarity on the usage so what i did here is i created a spring boot application with pre-configured so i pre-configured um, security configuration using spring security so basically this part of in-memory authentication is nothing but um, Spring Security in-memory detail manager which implements um, user detail service to provide support for username password based authentication that is stored in memory. So there are I created two users um, user and admin these are the users which are which can be used to log into my Spring Boot application. So this is a configuration in the Spring Security. And here I extended um, web security configuration and configure HTTP security so that what are the URLs allowed and what are the URLs it has to be authenticated. And if it is not user is not authenticated, it will be redirected to index. See, um, so these are any anything CSS or JSS I I don't have need any authentication but if it is not authenticated it has to go to login page otherwise if user is successfully authenticated it has to go to index I'm not implemented logout so let's go to the controller so in controller I'll create a two simple um, operations one is for login and other is for index login is the login page where the username and password will be entered and once the user is successfully logged in we'll go to the index page so i have created two operations login and index so and then let's create the templates so this is index template so once user is successfully logged in it will go to the index before that i'll create okay i'll create the login page login page to enter username password and then submit Here is a login page with username, password, and submit. So, and then we'll go to the index page. Once the username and login is successful, then we'll display the user details. So, before that, I need to add the I need to add the namespace for the security dialog. So, here is the namespace. I'll scroll this one this time so you can see properly so this is nothing but time leave extra spring security file 
I added the namespace for that uh, so that we can use that attributes in our timely application. So first I'll use the authenticated username details. So we can use authentication. So this one will provide the username for the authenticated user and this one provides the roles for the authenticated user. So we'll just break. And then now I can use the other attributes that is authorized attributes to get the more information about the authenticated user. So here yeah, okay. So here the authorized user admin if it's an authenticated user as admin role then this string will be displayed in the page if it is an operator user then this will be displayed and is authenticated you will see this message and we need to add the dependency for dialect so here is the dependency so this is for getting the spring security dialect. So now all set. Yeah, let me see again. All set. Yeah. So we we updated the index to to print the authenticated user details. We created a login page for user to login. Yeah, all set. Let let me run the application. compiling so I'll open the application here so if I go to the index but it is redirected to login page because the user is not authenticated first I'll use admin user admin admin as a password so you can see authenticated username is admin and the roles are admin roles and so we can see the admin role is printed because it is evaluated as a true for admin role so it is printed as so now i log in using the user So let me check what is the password for the user in the configuration okay user password is password and then just log in now you can see user name is user and authenticated user role is operator and you can see the different message here instead of admin it is an user got operator role so this is based on the user logged in so i logged in now as a user before that it was admin so the admin information was displayed now user details are displayed so this is how the spring security dial dialect allows us to conditionally display content based on user roles permissions and other security expressions it also gives us access to the spring authentication object so so you get the spring authentication object information so that you can display the um, the username uh, logged in username and the username uh, user attributes that is the roles the principal authorities or the roles uh, of the logged in user that's it from this lesson thanks for listening see you in the next lesson